One of the most common moves in golf, top of the backswing, standing the club up, and then golfers struggling with kind of big calves off to the right. And you get duck hooks to the left doing this. Let me show you why this drill is helping so many of my students get the feeling of how they should be setting a backswing up to allow them to create a downswing where they don't stand that shaft up and getting all kind of crashy, horrible impacts. Now we can apply these ideas to irons or woods. So it's the same principles of trying to get that more neutral flight. We do need to be setting this downswing up on a way that allows you to control path and a way that allows you to control the dynamic lie. If you make a toe down or heeled up, which not many people are, or getting it somewhere near level in delivery, all these things add up to straighter, longer, better drives, better iron shot. The drill's really simple. I want you to get two irons. I've just got an eight iron here and my gap wedge. And I want you just to bang the two grips together you can align the two heads up, but they'll tend to flop around a little bit. But you've got a good old gorilla grip of the two grips. Like, it doesn't matter, you're not doing any of this. Just grab them somewhere, hands somewhere close together. Thumbs can go down the front, but they don't need to. What we want is the weight of these two clubs. And all we're going to do, clubs grab together, go top of your backswing and stop. And I want you from the top of your backswing, do this in the garden if you want, once you've watched this video or at the range next time you're out there. Tell me which way these clubs want to go, full drop, if you were to just let go of them. If I was just to let go, they're going to drop this way. They're going to fall down behind me. For me to get these heavier clubs to stand up, I have to really start pulling hard down with this handle to try and get this club to then dive over. Yeah. And that's how lots of you are pulling on the club. Think about it. You've seen it. I've seen Tor Pro saying about it. I've seen YouTubers post videos on it. Pull, pull the handle, pull the handle down, pull that kind of string, that kind of feeling of pulling that string down. For so many golfers, that just literally stands that club up and gets them crashing down at impact or having to get out of their crash with these kind of movements that you see all day long. So the weight of these two clubs is really going to allow you to feel how this club needs to drop behind you as you start your downswing. Hopefully starting your downswing more by getting that body to starting to turn and rotate and slide a little bit and move that way back towards the target as those clubs just drop, rather than the common feeling which is to pull and stand these up. Now with this weight, if you're strong and you find that two clubs isn't heavy enough, you can do it with one arm. I'm not that strong for this, but so one arm, I mean they only want to go Oh, that way. Now, the other thing you can do is once you've got them up there, is you'll be amazed, even with one arm, let them drop and then pull them out in front of you and you'll get this feeling of the clubs dropping down behind you and then slinging out to the ball. And it's this movement that we need to work into your action, getting rid of the standing up action. So where we pull hard this way to let that club stand up, because you can do a couple, I'm gonna do it with one arm, I'm gonna stand that club up now from here. I mean, I just feel like that's gonna just crash. And if I don't want it to crash, this is where I am gonna start oh, getting up here, which you see so much of amateurs, you know, that hip thrust and the arms are really high impact position. This is a great drill to get the feeling of how those clubs should get just a hint of lay down as you start the downswing. And if it's your driver that you want to do this more with, you could again, this is more where you would employ the one hand feeling to get it happen. Because obviously this is so light feeling, it's quite easy, which is where that's the problem with these clubs. Being so light, people can pull and push and twist them whichever way they want. Which is often another reason why you see juniors just naturally laying it down. Because when they're little, the club's heavy, so they kind of let it go. Let gravity's momentum begin as they then grab onto that momentum and fling it out in front of them. They're not trying to kind of fight that momentum and then having an emergency crate their own so much. So you can do it with a driver, it's just gonna feel a little bit lighter and a bit too easy to do. And the skill with any drill is trying to bleed it into a shot. So a couple of practice swings in quick as you can, really try and recreate that feeling. Now the trouble with it is starting the downswing in a more constructive fashion, which the weighted clubs really allow you to do. Some people get into backswing positions that don't allow them to get that downswing happening because they kind of get stuck. And I've got my best drills to improve in your backswing to allow this downswing happen in a more constructive way here that's helping so many people get to this stage, this video, and then try and improve their downswing as well.